Hi everyone, this is a quick tutorial on how to purchase your ADF tickets using your computer or laptop. First, start by opening the Australian Dance Festival website in your browser. Head over to Shows and Tickets and buy tickets for individuals. Once you scroll down, you want to click on this icon here for Weekend Pass. This is going to take you to the login page for MyComPHQ. Now today we'll be showing you how to register a new attendee account. So you want to click at the top where it says register a new attendee. This is going to take you to the registration page where you can then start entering in your details. The date of birth that you enter will determine the pass options that you can purchase. For example, a concession weekend pass will only come up if you're 22 and under and adult passes will only be available to people 18 and over. For this example, I'm going to be choosing a birthday that will make me an adult. You can enter in any medical notes, a shirt size, and then you can enter in a quick password, and then a hint if you'd like one. Finish off by telling us how you've heard about us. From there, you can enter in your address, your contact number, an email address, and an emergency contact. From here, we get to our attendee preferences. We've got some instructions there for you to refer to and some links to the website if you need more information or any help about what you're purchasing. Because I've entered in my birth year as 1977, I will only see the options available for an adult. If I had put in a year of birth making me 17 or younger, then I would be able to see the options for a child. Okay, I'm going to purchase a weekend pass for an adult. I can enter in my studio's name, and then we have the terms and conditions. Now by clicking the blue text, this will take me to a page where I can read through the terms and conditions. Once I have read through, I can select that I understand and finish off by my security question. Then click to register. As soon as we've registered, it has come up with our invoice. Now you can see with my invoice, it has my name on the side, what pass I have selected and the total cost. This then gives me the option to pay my invoice now via credit card. Click here to organize payment by direct debit or I can register a new family member. I'm going to show you how to access all these options later on in the video. First thing I'd like to take you through is how to add a family member. For this example, we will be adding a child account and adding in a concession weekend pass. At the top left hand corner, you can see my account for aid and dancer. Underneath, I have the option to add new attendee. Once I click here, I can then start entering the details of my child. I'm then going to enter in a birthday that will make her a child for this example and register. Now you can see because I've entered in the birth year making her a child, I only have the options for her age group. I'm going to select a weekend pass concession and a dance around the world solo competition. Click the terms and conditions and register. Now you can see straight away my invoice is updated with not only my pass, but then my child's pass. Going through the menu, you can head into family address, contact details, parent details, and emergency contacts. At any time, you can alter your details and this will automatically update on our system, giving us the current information. Next up, we have QR codes for entry. This will automatically generate a QR code that will be used as your ticket to the event. There'll be no more wristbands or tickets. What you'll need to do is show your QR code at the door. Our ushers will scan your code and this will be used as your entry to the event. At the top, you can see I can click between myself and my child to get our different QR codes. You can get this on your phone, which would make it easier, and I'll show you how to access this on your phone later in the video. Next thing I'd like to show you is how to add your attendee photo ID. Now, once we're in here, you can see I have the option to add a photo for myself 
and for my child. This photo ID is very important as this is the photo that will come up when the ushers scan your QR code and this photo will be used as your identification when entering the event. All I need to do is click on which attendee I'd like to add a photo to. Once I'm in here, you can see I have the option here to choose file to upload my photo. Now it is important to note that only JPEG images will be supported and that if you're using an image more than one megabyte, it may take a little bit longer to upload. Once I click on choose file, I can select the photo I want and select upload. From here, I need to click the button down the bottom, click to upload photo. Now because my photo is quite large, it will ask me to just quickly resize my photo and center my face. And you can see just on the left, this is what will show up on my profile. Once I'm done, I can click next. And now my photo is set as my attendee ID. Next thing I'd like to show you is how to upload your music if you are participating in the Dance Around the World solo competition. You can see in our menu we have the option here to upload music. Now because Aiden did not select the Dance Around the World solo pass, he does not have the option to upload music. Only the people that have selected the pass will have this option. So you can see under Kayla, she has entered in the Dance Around the World solo and she can click upload music. All you need to do is click what song you'd like, upload that into the system, and that will instantly give us your music. Now I'm going to show you how to view your live timetable. You can see just here we have the option to view timetable. When I go in here, this is going to show me the timetable for the whole event. If I click down the drop down menu, I can select what room I'm going to be in to see a more precise timetable. On the day, this will also show me what instructors are in this room and what times they will be teaching. You can see here we've already added in what nighttime events we have. Now I'm going to show you how to go back and pay your invoice. Right down the bottom here we have the option pay your dance fees. Now you can see it's come up with our invoice. We just have to click on the invoice number and that will open up the invoice that we saw before. You have the option to either pay via credit card you can enter in your details down the bottom. This does incur a small service fee. You also have the option to organize direct debit and this can be paid using Australian Dance Festival's bank details in the bottom left hand corner. Last thing I'm going to show you is how to access this page again and how you can access this on your mobile phone. Alright, in order to access this page again you just need to type in adf.mycomphq.com.au. Once you're here, it will take you back to the login screen. If you'd like to access this on your mobile phone, you just need to type in the exact same web address into your mobile. If you have any further questions, please don't hesitate to reach out and we'll be able to help you navigate through the system. Thank you so much.